John Ruffle here. Welcome back to Coffee Time Talks Series 2. We've done over 250 videos now, so that's quite a landmark for us since March the 24th. And um, you probably won't have seen them all, but by all means, start with Series 2, which is up there. Uh, I think we're on number 25, something like that. So you can catch up there. Um, during this period of lockdown, uh, we've tried to encourage you to look to your heavenly calling and to be encouraged in the faith and in the word of God. And um, I know that in days to come, perhaps there'll be opportunity to revisit some of those short messages that I have made, especially the teaching messages. And I hope they bless and encourage you. Today, I just want to share very briefly about some of my own testimony in Christ Jesus. And it was my privilege last week to spend an hour in conversation with the Bishop of London, uh, Bishop Sarah. And I have to say that um, I was very moved by that conversation and I was able to share part of my testimony, the tragedies of it and the highlights of it with her. And I just want to say this about the Church of England. Some of you guys have had, um, you know, Church of England has had a bad press. The Catholic Church has had a bad press over the last few years for a lot of different reasons. And I want to say that don't abandon your faith because the church is now, and I'm talking about the church, I'm talking specifically about the Church of England. The Church of England has entered into a new phase of understanding, a new phase of compassion from the top down. And um, I really think that some of you have been afraid to, uh, to, to, to face, quote, the church. Now's a good time for you to reconsider. And I'd suggest what you do is go online and watch one or two church services and just in the comfort of your own home so it's not confrontational and just allow God's word to flow over you. Now, I'm in Birmingham, England, so I would recommend a good place to start would be St. Luke's Church in Birmingham, which is known as the Gas Street Church. And uh, I'm acquainted with uh, one of the worship leaders there, one of the associate pastors, but that's not the point. I'm not actually, um, I'm a Catholic, and so that's not my place of worship. Um, I, before lockdown, I'd go down there occasionally because the worship is really awesome. But I just encourage you to give the church a second chance. Um, and I think it's fair to say the church has given me a second chance. An amazing thing that Bishop Sarah said to me uh, last week, last Thursday, was she said to me, John, it's nothing short of a miracle that you're still in the church. And uh, I want to extend that miracle to you, especially if you've ever been hurt by uh, actions or comments from people in authority in whatever church it may have been, don't abandon your faith because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes. His love is absolutely steadfast for you. And I do believe that, Lord, may my friends watching find a home of faith wherever it may be whether it's in the Church of England, the Catholic Church, whether it's in a home group, but somewhere where their faith can be restored and healed and confidence be brought into the mix. And I pray that that will be something that you can experience for yourself, that miracle of following Jesus Christ and truly is a miracle. Um, I'm here not because of what I've done or my merits, simply because all throughout these years Jesus Christ has kept me and that's greater than any tragedy that you or I may have experienced in our life. So on that note I want to thank you for watching 
do come back tomorrow and i'm on every day for my daily coffee time talks this is john ruffle wishing you the blessings of jesus christ on your life and your loved ones and family